Hi, my name is Rajat Tharane. I am from F Division, Dish Department, and I am the group leader of Group F8. I, and my role number is 40, and our project title is Smart Helmet with Sensor for Accident Detection. So, the basic concept of our project was to ensure the rider safety and to prevent as many as accident as possible. So, the base, the main motto of our project was no helmet, no ride, wear the helmet to start the bike. So this was our main motto while developing this project. And the few parameters which we included in our project are first, if the helmet is not worn, the bike won't start as the motto said. If you don't wear a helmet, the bike won't start. The second parameter is alcohol consumption sensor. So if the rider has consumed alcohol, the bike won't start. So both this condition have to be true for the bike engine to be start. If one of the condition is not true, the bike won't start. Both the condition has to be true. The rider should wear, wear a helmet and the alcohol should not be consumed. So both this parameter should be uh, true, then only the bike would start. So, and the third parameter is... Parameter is the vibration sensor parameter. So vibration sensor SOS system. So if an accident occur, the helmet vibrates. So if the helmet vibrates, the vibration is detected through the vibration sensor and then later it is indicated that the accident has occurred and it displays on the uh, LCD screen. So if an accident has occurred, it, it sends the uh, signal, it sends the location of the rider where the accident has occurred on the LCD screen. So this would help in detecting whether uh, an accident has occurred and where it has occurred. So this would help in that thing and many lives can be uh, uh, protected through this. So this are the, is the basic uh, concept of our project and we would directly jump to the project and show you the demo. For this project, we used tools such as Protest and Professional for the circuit simulation, AutoCAD for 3D modeling, and Arduino IDE for the coding of the microcontrollers. We have we have a two microcontroller. One is one act as a transmitter and the other act as a receiver. So the alcohol sensor and the FSR sensor act as an input for the microcontroller, and later the microcontroller processes this input and then send it to the modulo TX. The modulo TX transfers this signal to the modulo RX. And the modular RX later fed that inform fed this information into the microcontroller, which which is the RF receiver part. And then further, RF the RF receiver processes these signals and tells the engine whether to start or not and displays it accordingly on the LCD screen. Now it now I would demonstrate it and show you. Now here you can see the alcohol is below 11% and the FSR sensor has been so the helmet has been worn. So here. You can see no alcohol is detected and the helmet has been worn. So the bike engine is moving. Now I'll show you the other condition. Now if I in increase the alcohol percentage, you would see alcohol detected, the bike engine is not moving. Now I would try some other thing. I would decrease the alcohol percentage and then I would show that helmet is not worn. Okay. So now if we see no alcohol but the helmet is not worn, the meter is off, so the bike engine is not moving. So both of this condition has to be true for the engine to move. Now both condition has to be true and the engine is moving. So this was the basic first circuit of our project. Then I would directly jump to the second, pro uh, second circuit. This is a vibration sensor and this vibration sensor detects vibration and accordingly the flag turns 1 and 0. So if the flag is 1, the location would be uh, displayed on the LCD screen. Now I would run this application and now you can see a GPS uh, map is detected, a map is shown and here uh, the, this takes a little time but it, the, the, the coordinates would be shown on the LCD screen. If you can see in the GPS it's already showing the coordinates. Now it would be uh, displayed on the project LCD screen as well. Yeah, if you can see now the coordinates has been shown. Now if we turn the flag 0 the vibration has not been detected and the LCD screen won't show the coordinates. Yes. So this was our second circuit, the GPS circuit. The third parameter 